you are is something to be celebrated. Just say that. That's good who you are is something. What is this for? I'm so confused. Okay. Okay. Just wait a sec. No, no matter who you are, it's something to be celebrated. Okay. Okay. So the emphasis is on something. No matter who you are, it's something to be celebrated. No matter who you are, it's something to be celebrated. Thank or, you so much. And I'm very proud of you for not putting arrows in your title. There was no arrows or white lines in my title and no caps either. How many views did it get? Oh, it's getting actually pretty decent views. Peace out. Video up in like a month. Okay, really but I still have no idea what that was for. Let's see. We just got some oh, the socks city socks. In. Those are sort of cool. Yeah. I like the new colorway better. I like yeah. the black and blue. Um, These are size 12 and a half. I'll go with those. Yeah. yeah. We got the JD Sports ones. So. Not as nice. I really, those are my favorites. Yeah. That drop off. Is that a UK exclusive? Yeah. Or? Okay. Got the triple grays with the leather sides. Nice. Whites, of course. Those are nice. Classic points. Those are nice. Yeah. Too bad you can't wear any of them in the winter, though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Got some. Uh, okay, those are actually keys. really, really nice. Yeah. Whoa. This is a lot of shoe boxes, Eric. Yeah, there's a few. You're getting on uh, on my level here. Yeah, I feel like I'm in your room. This is crazy, though. Did you see the Supreme Sled they released? I did. Do you get one? I, was, I sort of want to get one. How much are they? They're like going for 120. Ooh, shit. For a ten dollar plastic sled. Fuck that. I feel like I should probably. Should I get one? If I can use it. I could use it. No, if oh, I can if use you it. Can use if it. I can use it. So if I get it, then you come and we go sledding down yeah, the hill. I will. You can film it. Okay. Hold on. I'm gonna get one. Oh, we are back. In the sneaker room, we have a couple nice packages to unbox. Let me know if you want to see me buy the Supreme sled. I'm honestly curious to see how crap the material is on that because I've heard it's like a $5 sled that's going for $130 now just because it says Supreme on it. Let me know if you guys want me to buy it. In fact, if this video hits, I'll even keep it low. If this video hits 2,000 likes, I will do the Supreme sled. Go follow me on Instagram. Let me know if you want me to buy it. Leave a comment over there. It's easier for me to see 2,000 likes. I'll buy the Supreme Sled. We have two packages right here. This one is from a brand called Rocket Sports. I'm gonna be doing some work with them later in the year and they wanted to send me over just some clothes and stuff to show me what they're about. So, wow. They sent me a lot of stuff. So first off, they sent me, oh sick, they sent me a backpack. That is actually awesome. I. Definitely am a fan of backpacks. I mean you can never have enough backpacks because I carry these things around all over the place And uh, they get beat up pretty quick. So thank you for this. This actually looks like a pretty sick backpack rocket sports one I appreciate it. This it was like really really actually a nice backpack. They also sent me You know, I'm known for hoodies. So they had to send me out a hoodie. These guys are based in Atlanta I believe I met them at sneaker con Atlanta and uh, this is actually like a really, really soft hoodie. This will be worn. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna take this to basketball practice with me tonight and I'm gonna wear this at basketball practice. They also sent me like some dry fit feeling shorts, which are great. Actually, really, really like these. These are really soft. Actually, I'll take these to basketball practice with me as well. I have a nice little Rocket Sports outfit. We got two hats, Rocket, another hat, Rocket. As you guys know, I do not wear hats. So you know what? Let's give these away on my Instagram. I'll put these on my Instagram story when I post this video. If you guys want to go win these, just follow me on Instagram and I'll have the instructions of how to win these on my Instagram story. So yeah, thank you for these. This might be the second softest t-shirt. This one time I bought a bunch of t-shirts from Costco and they're so soft and I love wearing them just plain black t-shirts. This might be almost as soft with the little rocket logo up there. So thank you for that. And then last but not least, they sent a little tote drawstring bag 
to put like your basketball or your sneakers in or whatever, going to the basketball court, this thing is always a great piece to have. So thank you for sending all this stuff out, especially that backpack and the hoodie. I, I really do appreciate it. Next, next, we have a box from, judging by the tape, I'd put some money on the fact that it's from Champ Sports, probably. I mean, you never know, but it's probably from Champ Sports. Someone could have stolen Champ Sports tape, put it on this box, and could be scamming me with a fake pair of shoes. And judging from the weight, I'm like 99% sure I know what this is. And just to show you how positive I know what this is, I'm gonna take a piece of paper right here, I'm gonna take my pen and I'm gonna write down what pair of shoes I think this is. Because I am like 99% positive that they have sent me Another pair of these Champ Sports. If you did send me what I think you sent me, I really do appreciate it. Like, I love it that you send me shoes, and they're all very, very nice shoes, and I really appreciate it. But variety is the spice of life. I don't need 20 models of the exact same shoe. It's tough to wear them, and I have so many of them already. I appreciate it, though. Let's see if my beliefs are confirmed with this pair of sneakers. Yep. They sent me exactly what I thought they sent me. Timberland box, this is a much nicer Timberland box than usual. You can tell this is like a luxury one, limited edition Champ Sports exclusive colorway. All these Champ Sports exclusive colorways are actually really nice on the Timberland six inch. Oh wow, these are great. So these match the box perfect. It's like the exact same colorway as the box. That's actually pretty cool right there. It is like a maroon and cream colorway of the six inch boot. I love these actually. This is a very, very nice colorway. Champs, I know you sent me a lot of Timberlands. Maybe stop sending me Timberlands, send me other stuff, but this one's great. If you were to never send me a pair of Timberlands again, I would not complain. This is a great way to end it off. So thank you for these, but never send these to me again. If you want to send me those Adidas Pro Fears, I'd be interested on in trying those out. Uh, just new stuff, new stuff, because this is probably the 15th pair of Timberlands you've sent me. I'm not even joking. And I love Timberlands. I live in a very cold climate, so I wear them a lot, but no one needs 20 pairs of Timberlands. So I appreciate it. But I mean, you know, next time just send me something a little bit different. This is a sick pair of shoes though, like really, really, really nice. This colorway is awesome. So it's an all purple suede all over the place. And then you have these boot aglets up here, which is something very different, or eyelets, pardon me, not aglets, which is something very different from your regular six inch boot. This is obviously more of a premium take on the model because usually you just have the regular holes. These ones have the boot eyelets, which is sick. And then lots of you guys commented that the top two ones look like penises. And I mean, I can't really disagree. They, they do look very similar. Uh, they have two little circles and then a long, skinny part at the end so I mean I, I can't argue with you guys there on the heel you have this cream leather which is very nice as well and then the leather lining continues onto the inside you have your Timberland logo stamped in a darker maroon right there this is just a, it looks very luxurious it looks very like classy very rustic hipster chic you know like you would be a 30 year old dude wearing a flannel with a beard going to your boutique coffee shop and you would probably wear these that's what I envision this shoe being and I I like these. Uh, what size did they send me? They sent me a size 11 and a half. Thank you, you got the sizing right this time. I remember last time you sent me a size 12, which was way too big. So you guys listened, you guys actually watched the videos. I appreciate you. Size 11 and a half, these things are very, very nice. Cream laces as well. I wonder if these come with purple laces on the other, because I think these could look pretty cool with purple laces too. Um, if they didn't send purple laces, not the end of the world. Yeah, it doesn't look like they sent purple laces. Um, I'll look around, see if I could find a pair of purple rope laces, because I think that'd be a pretty nice touch on this pair of sneakers. Just see what it looks like all purple with that nice little piece of accent right there on the heel. The bottom is all gum, regular six inch boot bottom. You guys have all seen this good stuff before. So that is pretty much it for the boot. That is pretty much it for today. Rocket Sports One, thank you for the box. Champ Sports, thank you for the shoes. I really appreciate all this stuff. If you guys ever want to send me anything, just shoot me an email and I'll send you my shipping info I just don't like publicizing it because then brands will send me stuff expecting free promotion and stuff like that for brands that I necessarily don't support then they'll get mad at me if I you guys get the point that being said let me know what you think of these boots let me know what you think of the backpack the hoodie and all of that great stuff I will be back tomorrow with a brand new video make sure to follow me on Instagram Twitter snapchat all of that great stuff and I'll see you very very soon I didn't even know we had a mic in the gym. Since we have a mic in the gym though, 
I feel this call for story time. I mean, I don't really have that many stories about sports at NBCI because I sat on the bench most of the time. We did have this one tournament, basketball tournament, every single spring though. It was called Hoops for Swaziland. It was a charity tournament for Swaziland. That hoop, right there, fourth quarter, it might have been a blowout. So like, it was garbage minutes, but it was still minutes. It was still minutes. That hoop right there, I scored 19 points in the fourth quarter, and I only missed one shot the entire quarter. That is probably the best basketball experience I've ever had. The crowd was getting hyped, the bench was getting hyped, I was getting hyped. And then the rest of my high school basketball career was spent sitting on the bench. It was, it was fun though. It was fun.